Hi everyone and welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. I know I look crazy, I know. I'm just filming a makeup look tutorial with a palette that I'm going to review on my channel and that is going to be, I think, after this video. But today I'm so excited because finally, yesterday I went to Sephora and I bought a couple of things. And finally, Hourglass launched in Sweden. Yay! Hourglass! I heard so many great things about Hourglass and about their makeup and I know there were a couple of websites that I could could buy the uh, Hourglass products from like Cold Beauty but I was very excited to try the foundation stick foundation from Hourglass but I was scared to buy it online because it's very expensive and there are so many beautiful shades and I didn't know which one to use, choose from so Yesterday, they launched here in Sweden. In Sweden, they launched in Sephora. And I was so excited. After work, I ran to the Sephora and I bought a couple of things. So today, I'm going to try them on my face. I'm going to use all the products and see how they are going to work on my skin. Like you see, I do have some acne issues and large pores. And also very oily T-zone and some dry patches around my skin. So combo skin. And uh, I have uh, not a lot of foundation that work on my skin the whole day. And I need my makeup to last for at least 16 hours because I do work long hours and I do leave home house very early. I bought the foundation, of course, in shade light beige. I bought the ambient lighting bronzer in nude bronzer light. And also I bought... Whoa. Um, the palette, Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette in Dime Edit. Dime, Dime Edit, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'm going to show you. So about three products from Hourglass. Now the girl, the girl in Sephora, they, she helped me match my neck and the foundation that I had on yesterday to see which one is going to look good on me. So she helped me choose this one, Light Beige. And also... Uh, she was very kind to give me a sample of their Hourglass Primer that it's very po popular here. And I really want to try it, but I'm going to try it on one of my uh, one side and the, uh, on the other side I'm going to use my new favorite primer, Prep and Prime from Lancome. To see which one I prefer more because this one I do love, love, love and it keeps my meal less oily during the day and keeps my foundation on for 18 hours so I love this one so I'm going to try that and also I got a sample of the new Huda Beauty foundation and I had to say I'm going to try it on my channel I'm going to review it and I'm going to use it so I really want to buy this foundation but in Sephora I swatched a couple of shades and the girl that worked over there tried to help me to choose one that is similar to this shade but every Every shade is so yellow toned. Every shade has this strong yellow undertone. So even if this is 330 natural undertone, it's still so yellow. So I'm going to try it, but not today. So I'm going to have a review of this foundation on my channel because I really want that foundation in my collection. But I need it to work. I don't want to do the same mistake that I did with Marc Jacobs that I don't use anymore. But like I said, I'm going to try these things, things, products on my skin. So if you want to see that, then please keep on watching. Okay, guys, so let's try the Prep and Prime primer on this part of my skin. And the hourglass I'm going to use on this side. So let's prime my skin. I already have my moisturizer on. So I use this much and let's see, I'm going to use this primer on this side of my face. If you want to see this makeup look, it's not finished, but if you're interested to see it, it's going to be on my channel soon. It's the new Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Dark Magic palette. I'm not going to say what I think about it and how it's, going to, how it's working for me. So this is the primer, Prep and Prime Lancome. On this other side, I'm going to use the Hourglass Primer. 
I have so hard time to open this. And it's almost the same formula, a little bit more white than the Lancome. Oh, it smells, it smells nice. It's a little, a little bit thicker consistency. Uh, I feel like this side turned red. Do you see that? Or is it only in my head? I don't know how much to use. Probably used a little bit too much. But it feels like this side is more red right now than this side with the Lancome primer. I don't know. We'll see. So this is supposed this is supposed to make this foundation more water resistant and waterproof. So I can see that this side uh, my my pores are more blur blurred on this side, less visible than on this other side. But so far, both feel sticky. This one feels a little bit thicker than this one, but they are, it's lightweight, both of them. Let's go into the foundation. I did swatch it. I haven't used it on my skin. I did swatch it when I came home yesterday because often the girls that helps, help me choose a foundation shade in Sephora always make, make me choose the wrong shade. And I said to her that I like a foundation to be a little bit darker because often I look like a ghost when I had light, light beige. This is, uh, guys, it feels expensive. So this is the shade that we chose for me. And she said that I need to use a brush. So I'm going to use my favorite foundation brush. And uh, yeah, so she said two on the cheeks. Three on the forehead, two on the chin, one on the cheeks on the sides and try to blend it. And if I want more coverage, I can use more foundation. So let's see, I don't know how to... I think I need more foundation. I feel like I need more foundation. This didn't give me anything. I don't want to overdo, but I do need some coverage. I'm so nervous, guys. Very nervous. And it's hard because you can't take a sample with you home to try this foundation. So you do need to buy the foundation if you want to try it. And it feels like everyone loves this foundation. It's a very nice, beautiful finish, but still not enough of the coverage that I would like on this side. So I am going to use more. Perfect. Okay, now we're talking. Right now, my skin looks flawless. I really like how it sits on my skin. It doesn't sit in on my skin. It feels like it feels lightweight. So I'm going to go on this side right now and of course I'm going to put more of this foundation because like you said, I did need to use more. So I don't know if it will, will work better if I uh, use another brush, a more stiff than this one. Because I did use a lot of the foundation. My skin looks flawless. It looks like it is in my skin. It feels like my skin. I don't feel it on my face. God, and I love how it looks. Though I do prefer the Hourglass Primer, I have to say with this foundation. So it looks very nice. This is the Lancome primer. And this is the Hourglass. I felt like I needed to use more foundation than they say 
to get this coverage, but I I, lo I like how this looks and how it feels. I'm going to put some concealer on and I'm going to use Estee, Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Concealer. Let's see how that, this is blending on top. Oh, this concealer blended very fast. So the concealer went on easy and it blended beautifully over the foundation. So I'm, I am going to set my makeup with my Huda Beauty. So I'm going to bake on under my eyes with Huda Beauty powder. And it's because I do that every morning. But I'm going to clean, but I'm going to only bake under my eyes. I'm going to set the rest of my makeup with the powder that I got from Hourglass, the palette. So I'm going to go into uh, this palette right now, this palette right now. And they had different, I, did, I wanted the first palette that came out with all of the setting powders but they didn't have it in the stores so this is how this one looks beautiful packaging but it gets your fingerprints immediately on the packaging so this is how these look this is a setting powder this is a blush and also a highlighter so I'm going to set the rest of my face with this powder and I'm going to use this sheer cover brush It's giving me a very soft glow. It's not shimmery. I need a softer brush. Try this one instead. It's too big for this palette, but it's softer. It's much softer than the other brush. Just, just smooths everything more and gives me this nice glow to the skin. It doesn't exaggerate anything on my face. There, here. Okay, then I'm going to take off this bake and I'm going to use the Huda Beauty brush, but I'm going to dip this brush into this setting powder and just wipe off the excess. I've seen other YouTubers do that, so where is the hair? So I want to do that myself. It feels like it smooths everything out more. And I actually like it. So we are going to go back to that palette again. But before we do that, let's go in the bronzer. <laughs> I can't speak. This is the packaging. It has my fingerprints all over it. Why not? So this is the bronzer. So I did try others, but this one looked less shiny and uh, neutral other tone than the others. So it's easy to build up and I really liked it how it looked on my skin yesterday. So I'm going to use my favorite bronzer blush and swipe around to mix the shades. And let's use this. It looks so beautiful yesterday when the girl tried it on my skin. I really like how this bronzer looks on my skin. I do want to build it up a little bit more. So yeah, I was in Sephora yesterday afternoon and the, she did try the blush on me all from this palette and I did like the shade, but it felt like it exaggerated my pores a little bit here on my cheeks. So I'm scared of uh, that, but I also thought maybe it, will, it is because I already had so much makeup on my skin already and I did wear it how many hours? Oh, what, nine hours. So maybe that is why it looked a little bit crazy. Let's contour and I don't have anything from Hourglass but I'm going to use my Smashbox. This shade here that I'm loving. I do use this palette every day. And just place it here. I'm loving how this is looking so far. Okay, let's go in 
with the blush. And I'm going to use this blush brush from Sheila's, Sheila's, which powdery. Okay, I'm scared. It's a little bit shimmery, so I don't want it to exaggerate, exaggerate my pores. I have huge pores on my nose and cheeks area, so I need to be careful with shimmery blushes. Let's see. I think the shade is beautiful. I need another mirror to see how it really looks very close. Actually, it didn't exaggerate my pores, so it was, no, it just looks so nice. Ooh, everything looks so flawless. Can't believe it. I really can't believe it because I did had high hopes for these products, but I was scared that it, they are not going to work because most of the things don't work the same on me, my skin and on me like the other, on other YouTubers. So let's go now with this oh my god this is so natural it looks like my skin is shiny it doesn't exaggerate any pores hourglass i'm in love it looks so nice can't stop i can't stop I'm sorry, I can't stop. I really want to see how this is going to look at the end of the day, in the end of the day. So I'm going to finish my makeup look and put some lipstick and I'll be right back. But before we go, I need to do the thing that I always do. I need to set my face. I'm going to use Fix Plus Matte to set my face. I need to do that. Dry, 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 dry. Then I'm going into Lancome, fix it, forget it. I love this spray. This is amazing. <laughs> this mist is the best. So I do use these uh, sprays, mattifying sprays, because I use them all the time. So I don't know why should I use something else. I just want to use this every day. I still have this nice glow on my skin. So now I'm going to go and finish my makeup look, look and I'll be right back. So guys, now the makeup is done and my skin, when I look at myself in the mirror right now from a distance, it looks flawless. It looks like I have a filter on the camera. It looks like I have a filter on my skin. Everything looks smooth and nice and beautiful. And I have that natural shine. I don't look oily. I hate looking oily. I do have a very oily T-zone. So I hope, really hope and pray that my oils will stay in there and that my look, my look, my makeup is going to look beautiful the whole day. I'm very excited. I really hope so because everything looks so, so, so nice. And when I look at myself very close, my pores are less visible. And I have to say, I do prefer the side with the hourglass primer because my pores looks much smaller and everything looks more I don't know more even I love love Lancome primer it works beautiful with every foundation that I tried so far but with this foundation it does it does look beautiful I'm not mad but it looks like my pores are more visible on that side than on the hourglass side side I can't speak today it's very early in the morning and I didn't have the whole coffee so i'm confused so i definitely love hourglass fun primer right now but we'll see how that is going to work during the day maybe this one lancome will keep my oils in control a little bit better we don't know we'll see but so far so good i'm amazed everything looks so nice and beautiful on my lips i have the the, the, the mannequin mannequin from uh, G jeffree star and also on top i have this Models own lip gloss. This is holochrome lip gloss that I bought a couple of months ago, a year ago maybe. And I did try to use it more right now with some nudes, and I love this one. It doesn't feel sticky and it's very, very nice. And on my eyes, I have the this one, 
the dark magic from Jack and Hill. I'm going to put that review on my channel soon. I don't know if it's going to be before this video, probably not, but if you want to see that and you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. That would mean a lot to me. And of course, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video so you don't miss this video if you're interested in that. But so far, everything looks good. Let me just show you the time, how early it is. Not maybe we're so early. No, not so early. 9.37. So it's almost 10 o'clock in the morning. Or, and I had this foundation on for at least... 37 minutes. So I had this on since 9 o'clock, but I will do a couple of check-ins during the day because I won't go outside today and uh, we'll see how this is going to keep or stay on my skin. So see you soon. So hi everyone, it's 1 o'clock and uh, I had to take off my eyelashes because I couldn't wear my glasses and so far everything looks good pretty good the foundation it didn't settle in, into my fine lines it didn't start to separate i did eight lunch lunch this is the side with the lancome primer and this is with hourglass primer they look the same i did wipe my nose a couple of times because i have kind of like a cold or something but yeah everything looks pretty good so far so we'll see in a couple of hours again how it looks Hi everyone, I'm back. So it's been around eight hours since I uh, applied this makeup and I didn't touch up, I didn't do anything, but I do look oily and greasy a little bit, but let me just look a little bit closer. Guys, why didn't you say, tell me that my mirror needs to be cleaned? Okay, so let's see. I need to look very close. It didn't settle into my fine lines. It did stay on my skin. This side with the hourglass primer looks much better than the other side with Lancome. So this with hourglass looks much better than this one with Lancome because this one is just more synced into the skin and looks more not flawless but smooth smooth than this this side kind of looks like it's right now sitting on top of my skin okay so this this side is with hourglass primer and you see it looks shiny it is shiny but it looks okay it looks like it sank into the skin this side though looks like it sits on top of the skin it didn't really i don't know it's like more greasy. I don't know what's going in here. So I'll try to remove some of the oiliness. This primer is supposed to make everything waterproof and transfer proof. I did slap on this side a little bit, but it doesn't, it's not transfer proof. So I did, let me see. Okay. It didn't remove my foundation, but doesn't look like that but there is some foundation makeup on this on the nose on the nose it doesn't really look even but everything else looks nice there is highlighter and everything is coming looking nice smooth like it did when I first applied my makeup so that's good so let's see this side with this other primer oh. up there is this other side let me look also, don't look so even on the nose. Okay, it's not looking oily or anything else. It just... I don't know. I kind of prefer how it looks with this primer. Hourglass primer. I think I need to exfoliate my skin a little bit. But it looks, it looks fine. I say, it looks nice. It looks smooth. My nose doesn't look very good. But that is what it is. But otherwise, everything else looks very nice and smooth. And looks great but I do get oily so um, if you have oily skin remember that but I will definitely wear this foundation I'll try it a little bit more but I will try to put less of it so I will try to really buff it into the skin apply a little bit more than a one two three dots but kind of try to blend it and buff it uh, in my into my skin a little bit more and not apply this much maybe that will work better because I did I did saw a couple of reviews 
where people apply didn't like it the first time when they applied too much and then try to blend it a little bit more but I was too excited to do that but really I do like this foundation and if I knew that it would work like this I would definitely buy it so doesn't matter it didn't change my opinions I think my skin looks very nice and smooth right now mm, there is one two patches that on my skin that are popping on through but that's because I held my hand like this and did my touch my nose a couple of times but everything else looks very nice and smooth there is still some bronze on my skin I really like the powders and there is this natural glow that setting powder gave me when I took away some of the oiliness the nose doesn't look good that's that doesn't look good but like I said, I did apply a little bit too much foundation. So I'll continue playing with foundation. I will definitely give you my thoughts in a couple of weeks after trying it a little bit more. But otherwise, I do really like this uh, bronzer. It's amazing. I love it. I do like the foundation. I think it's okay foundation. Uh, it's may not maybe the best foundation ever that I tried, but it's, it's a very good foundation. It looks very nice and even. Especially if I don't have to wear the makeup for more than 10 hours, maybe. And this palette is good. Beautiful. I love it. Oh, there. I stuck my nail in it. Great. I just stuck my nail into the powder. And destroyed. Give a thumbs up if you like this video. Please let me know down below what you think about these products. And did you try them yourself? And what do you think about them? Or you do you want, that to, want to try them in the future? What of these products are you most excited about please let me know down below don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell and i hope i see you in my next video bye